Good morning. So I've just received this charge adopter in the post and I thought it's a good idea to make a video on how Android devices or more specifically my Nexus 5 and in a bit I might be looking at the Nexus 7 as well or the 2012 model how they respond to different charges that I can get in the market so I thought it's a good idea to actually looking at focusing on the uh, the Apple charges because I have noticed some people might actually complain about the Apple charges when they are being used with Android devices they charge rather slowly so let's have a look shall we so I've actually got two of those uh, 5 watts chargers so I've tested a little bit earlier on and they are actually the same so I've no idea why I've got this one still plugged in so I'm going to get it unplugged and get rid of it uh, but actually it might be a good idea to just show you the uh, voltage on all these chargers first so the first one we have actually got 5.15 volt moving on to the second one no surprise there 5.11 slightly slightly lower but still within his back so moving on to the uh, 10 watts charger and that's 5.06 and uh, let's have a look just to yep happy with that and plug it and onto the uh, 12 volts charger 5.17 no surprise there okay so um, to throw into the mix what I thought was a good idea would be to comparing all these different cables so what I have here is the uh, regional Nexus 7 cable uh, from Asus Asus whatever uh, secondly I've got a random really short cable but the good thing about this cable is uh, I've got some random markings there not sure if that's going to help uh, but this cable as can compare to any other cable here is actually quite a lot thicker so my theory would be the thicker the cable the more current it can actually carry and also lower the resistance so in theory this one is going to give us the highest charge current with all these chargers here and thirdly I've got the original Nexus 5 cable and also one of these I believe is a Belkin I got off Amazon uh, let's see if I can focus yeah so this is a Belkin cable and this is actually quite long so not sure how well this is going to do um, but let's find out shall we jump cut right so what I've done here is I'm going to use the shortest cable first of all as a, a baseline or as a standard and we're going to look at the charge current of the three Apple genuine charges so just in case so these are the markings so these are uh, genuine Apple charges so that one I believe I got um, in Hong Kong so there might be some Chinese characters written on it and this one is one that I bought from uh, in the UK right so start with the uh, 5 watts charger so one interesting thing about Android devices is that when you plug your phone into an Apple charger they don't seem to like to um, recognize it charging as an AC adapter it shows on the phone if I get it plugged in here it shows on the phone there we go, oh, it's a bit hard, there we go it says USB so when the phone says USB charging uh, in theory it's going to limit the current draw to up to 500 milliamps that's my understanding so correct me if I'm wrong but interestingly the Nexus 5 is actually drawing 1.1A from the charger very interesting I didn't know that until I actually got the charger doctor so let's have a look how the phone is going to behave when I move that onto the 10 watts charger alright unplugged so not charging 
no magic here. All right, so goes in five volts there. USB charging. Um, there we go. So I've accidentally engaged the NT ground shooting mode, the AGS mode, on my camera, so it got cut off. But let's go back to our charging scenario here. So with the 10 watt charger, what's interesting is that the phone is actually limiting the amount of power drawn from the adapter. So the memory you see is actually limited to uh, within 500 milliamp. So 0.42. Uh, before, even with the 5 watts Apple charger, we are able to get uh, more than 1 amp. So now you see it's actually still says charging USB, but actually it's charging actually at USB rate. So let's see what's going to happen if we do the same thing with the uh, 12 watts charger. Unplugged. Come on. Come on. There we go. Um, plug it into the third one. So, 5 volts there, and you, oh actually, it says AC charging on my Nexus 5, how interesting, AC, and actually AC power, hmm, what's going on here, so on the 12 watts charger, my Nexus phone is able to see it as a proper adapter, not like a pretending to be a computer or USB port but actual dedicated AC charger as if the uh, the second and the third pins being shorted together hmm interesting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to try use a different cable now and see if it actually makes a difference jump cut right it's not easy to get in uh, but there we go. So this is the Belkin cable plugged in. No cheating there. So same plug, which was being recognized as AC before, says USB. And the power is limited to within 500 milliamp. There we go. So, yep. Make sure you use good cables. Good cables. So now we're done with the cables, we're going to have a look at the um, two original chargers which came with my Nexus 7 and this is for the Nexus 5. So these are genuine, uh, uh, this is a genuine LG charger on focus. So this is the markings and focus, anything? Yeah, there we go. That is the uh, focus. Focus. There we go. If you can see it, I can't. Uh, yep. So let's get these plugged in and see how it perform comparing to the uh, previous Apple ones. All right. Charge doctor in. 5.17 volt. Yeah. Good. That is good. Right. Unplug it. And this one goes in an awkward position. 4.87. Hmm. 4.87. Isn't that a little bit low? Might still be within spec. I need to look it up. But it actually is. What did I what do we have before? Yep, four point eight seven. Alright. What about this one? Yeah. These charges, the worst one I can that um we've looked at so far, they've actually got five votes. But this one, the LG one, actually, it's not even five votes. Huh. Uh, might cause some issues, but let's give it a try anyway. So that's a, this is the phone. Let's plug it in. 
and oops, I want to uh, do this one first. Right. And, ah. Right. Oh wow. Do you see that? I think it jumped to like one and a half M. Let's try it again. Right. Unplugged. Plugged in. Oh, it's not doing it now. Okay. Let's try it again. Let's vote. Right. Yeah, I told you it did. Why? Well, it's just AC. Yeah. So it's taking one point zero nine. Yep, similar to uh, the twelve watts Apple charger before. No surprise here. Uh, what if I unplug it? and plug it into the uh, actual charger that came with the phone so hmm, the phone switch actually went up and the current is 1.11 yep hmm interesting maybe this got some kind of um, mechanism inside the, uh, the circuit actually turn down the voltage where there's actually where there's not no loading why I don't know let's unplug it yep the the voltage actually goes down but as long as it's giving the uh, enough voltage when it's actually plugged in then uh, yeah the voltage actually goes up can someone explain that hmm okay you know what it might be a good idea to to test the uh, original cable as well and um, this is the original Nexus 5 cable and this one plugs in here if I can get it in come on come on yep yeah. yep yeah. there we go uh, Charging AC. Wait, what? Not point six four M with the original cable. Yeah, this is the original cable, and it's actually not giving the full amount of power. Well, it is more than five hundred milliamp. But it's actually not getting near 5 watts. And uh, what if I do this one? Yeah. So the cable is capable of giving the power, but either the phone is not taking it, or I think it's got something to do with the actual voltage coming from the this adapter. 4.92 huh. interesting 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 right there are not much reason for me to do this but I am using the Belkin cable again with the LG charger so I am actually getting quite concerning amount of power going from the charger 0.18 amp I'm sure the phone is going to take more power than it's giving out to run the processor display and everything so I really doubt that is charging the phone so screen this off and still 0.18 huh Wow, that's concerning. So if I plug unplug this, ah, come on, and plug it into this charger, I want to see what happens. Hmm, at least this is giving you half an amp, and it says charging AC. So, hmm, not so sure about this charger now. Hmm, 
So before I go, I just want to see how the Nexus 7 actually respond to um, these chargers. Three Apple ones and one uh, that came with it. So the battery is quite low at 30%. And it should take as much as current as it can, which we are using the short cable before, which has proven to be... Um, carrying the most current possible so let's try the 5 watt charger and it says charging AC and it is taking 0.37 amp with the Apple charger even though it says charging AC here there we go and let's try the original charger it came with the i uh, the the uh, I was going to say iPad, but this this is not an iPad, and it says charging AC as well, and the current is taking 0.73 amp. Charging AC. Hmm. Right. So the 10 watt charger. Not point three eight, similar to not point three seven, I believe. There might be actually a heart limit on how much current is taken when it's plugged into the Apple charger. And let's test the twelve watts. Charging AC. 0.37 so it's quite a different behavior on the Nexus 7 tablet 2012 model than the Nexus 5 which on Nexus 5 is able to charge at quite the um, maximum current when it's plugged into the 5 watt charger and the 12 watt charger not the 10 watts maybe something's wrong with that one but anyway the Nexus 7 doesn't do that even when it's plugged into the original charger well only when it's plugged into the original charger it's taking more than 500 milliamps so there you have it Nexus 5, Nexus 7 and different chargers